NASA just announced there are possible signs of life on Mars. But how can that be, when not a single sample has even made it back to Earth? In this documentary, we break down exactly what Perseverance discovered, the chemical and mineral clues that on Earth often point to life, why those same clues might also come from pure Martian chemistry, and what has to happen next when the sample finally reaches Earth. How NASA found the clue. Last year, NASA's Perseverance rover drilled into a rocky outcrop in Jezero Crater called Chayava Falls. Billions of years ago, Jezero was an ancient lake, fed by a river that once carved a wide channel called Neretva Vallis. It's exactly the kind of environment where microbial life, if it ever existed on Mars, would have had water and nutrients. Inside the core sample, nicknamed Sapphire Canyon, the rover's instruments detected something scientists call a potential biosignature, a chemical pattern that on Earth often points to life, but could also arise from simple chemistry. Perseverance's high-tech instruments, Pixel and Sherlock, revealed the rock is rich in organic carbon, sulfur, oxidized iron, and phosphorus. On Earth, microbes use these very elements to gain energy and build cells. Iron and sulfur breathing bacteria. So what this means in science, the iron and sulfate are already present in the mud or sediment. As these microbes breathe, they pass electrons to those compounds, changing their chemical state. Those chemical changes can stay locked in the soil or rock for a very long time. And that lasting chemical fingerprint is what scientists have discovered. In high resolution images, the team saw tiny leopard spots zones called reaction fronts, where minerals formed as chemicals interacted. Scientists found two important minerals in the rock. Vivianite is a mineral that contains iron and phosphate and also has water in its crystal structure. Gregite is a mineral made of iron and sulfur. On Earth, these minerals form in places where tiny microbes are breaking down dead material. As they do, the microbes release electrons, and those electrons create the right chemical conditions for minerals like vivianite and gregite to form. Their precise spotted pattern acts like a chemical fingerprint that, if biological, could have survived for billions of years. But geology can mimic biology. Rocks like these can form the same minerals even without life, just from long chemical reactions between groundwater and iron-rich rocks. The Bright Angel rocks don't show signs of high heat or strong acid, which makes the biological explanation intriguing, but it's still far from conclusive. Science demands extraordinary evidence, and every possible non-biological pathway has to be tested. And here's the key point, the sample is still on Mars. Perseverance has sealed the core in a titanium tube, waiting for the Mars Sample Return Mission, a joint effort by NASA and the European Space Agency, planned for the late 2020s or early 2030s. If successful, it will mark the first time rocks from another planet are brought to Earth. Only in Earth's laboratories can scientists look for the subtle signs that truly separate life from chemistry isotopic ratios of carbon and sulfur, microscopic textures resembling cells or biofilms, and the handedness or chirality of organic molecules, something that life on Earth strongly favors. These bright angel rocks are also younger than many expected to contain ancient biosignatures, perhaps hundreds of millions of years younger than the earliest lake deposits. That hints that Mars may have stayed habitable longer than scientists once believed. For humanity, this discovery is a reminder that we may not be alone or that nature's chemistry can create lifelike signatures without life itself. Either outcome reshapes our understanding of how planets evolve and how life might emerge or be imitated across the universe. Even if these spots turn out to be purely geological, the techniques developed here will sharpen future searches on places like Europa or Enceladus, icy worlds that also may hide life. NASA hasn't found life, 
but it has found the strongest clue yet, a whisper from the red planet that challenges our imagination and invites us to keep searching. The next chapter begins when these rocks finally make their journey home and when Earth's laboratories can tell us whether Mars ever truly hosted life. 